Hola a todo el mundo, bienvenidos a los Play Fire Emblem 3 Houses En el último episodio tuvimos el remar de la batalla de los leones y las águilas Y se han descargado los datos de la actualización Que incluyen un nuevo de modo de dificultad EXTREMO Además a partir de ahora podrás ver la torre de la diosa en el menú extra de la galería de eventos Para iniciar una partida a nivel de dificultad extremo selecciona nueva partida en el menú principal um, Sé que ya he... Dicho que cuando acabe Golden Deers, y por si no estáis enterados lo digo ya, voy a jugar Black Eagles, no voy a hacerlo en extremo. Porque quiero ver apoyos, quiero disfrutar de la historia, quiero hacer mis meme wheels, quiero hacer a una netquinete wyvern en Black Eagles. Con lo que cuando quiera darme latigazos en la espalda a mí mismo, ya jugaré extremo por mi cuenta. Pero para el let's play tendréis que seguir viéndolo en difícil. Dicho esto, vamos al lío. Part 2. Verdant Wind. Harpstring Moon. The Golden Scheme. Claude leverages his victory at the Battle of Grondor to secure reinforcements from Alliance Lords. Meanwhile, the Imperial Army continues to tighten its defenses at Fort Mercius in anticipation of an attack on the Imperial capital. Dime que no vamos a volver a Fuerte Mercios como hicimos ya con Blue Lions. Serían demasiados mapas repetidos. No quiero que el capítulo 18 sea el 19 de Blue Lions. O el 19 o el 20, por ahí van los tiros. Creo que era el 20. Creo que era el 20. Pero shish, cuántos mapas repetidos. Es decir, puedo entender que se repitan porque todos hacemos lo mismo, pero aún así. Ah, oh. oh, bueno, esta vez no tenemos decidos. Parece que a Luisita le gustaría hablar contigo. ¿Quieres aceptar? Thank you for helping me with my training again today, Professor. I'm gonna keep at it for a while longer, so you go on ahead. Deberías descansar un poco. I can't. Not when I'm right on the cusp of using my power to greater potential. Surely you yourself are tired. Just don't worry about me, okay? Well. Ah, por cierto, le han cambiado la voz a Violeta. Ahora ya no es Chris Noyes y ahora es Cristiana Aguilera, creo que se llama. Es el de Fire Emblem Heroes, a raíz de que el sello original de de Three Houses rompió el NDA y luego se descubrió también que era bastante mala gente, aunque eso no creo que fuera tan relevante para quitarle más bien el, el romper el pacto que tenía con Nintendo de no revelar información del juego. Por eso lo borraron de la faz de la tierra súper rápido en, en Fire Emblem Heroes y les ha llevado más tiempo, pero ya lo han reemplazado también en Three Houses. I'm sorry, Professor. It was careless of me to continue, despite how fatigued I clearly was. I probably should have listened to you. Now I've made a mess of things. I can't help but feel the need to rush in all things constantly. You get that way when you realize you haven't got much time. ¿A qué te refieres? I believe I've mentioned that House Ordelia was at one time being controlled by people from the Empire. During that time, strange people Mages, perhaps, came and performed rituals on all the youth within my family. With the Empire monitoring our every move, my parents could do nothing but watch in horror as all of this unfolded. One after another, the children died, till the only one left was me. You know, my hair wasn't always this color. During their experiments, they'd been doing things with my blood. One morning, I awoke like this. A shock of white hair. All trace of pigment, gone. Voy a llevarme al ST a Black Eagle solo para hacer su apoyo con Edelgarda. Upon seeing me, the mages were delighted. They realized that their experiments had finally succeeded. Sure enough, They ran a test. 
and saw that two press coexisted within me. Losing pigment from my hair wasn't the only loss. The mages informed me that my lifespan was now greatly shortened. Five more years at most, perhaps less. Bueno, han pasado más de cinco años. Shortly thereafter, the mages lost interest in me, and we never saw them in the Ordelia household again. Since all that, our family has been in decline. It's challenging now even to govern our territory. After all my mother and father have suffered, I at least want them to have peace as they grow older. That is all I wish for. But I haven't much time to ensure it comes to pass. Es demasiado pronto para rendirse. It's not like what's been done to me can be undone. Vamos a buscar una solución. Professor, the only way I can conceive of would be to remove my crest somehow. I don't know if that's even remotely possible. Even if it were. Bueno, confía en Hanuman. <risa> Como si me importasen los emblemas a la hora de luchar. ¿Acaso alguien me, me, me dijo, ¡ay, qué bien se ha activado el emblema! Me da bastante igual. De alguna manera tiene que haber. Los emblemas en combate... Paso de ellos, es un pequeño bonus y ya está, es irrelevante. En fin, oh, seguimos. Our objective is Enbar, the imperial capital, but our greatest obstacle lies before that. Vamos a ir a Fort Mercius. Fort Mercius. If we can't pass through, we won't be able to reach Enbar. Era el capítulo 20 de, de Blue Lions. El 18 era tomar la capital, el 19 es ayudar a Cloud, el 20 era Fort Mercius. 21 Hubert, 22 Endgame. Fort Mercius, the impregnable fortress, or so it's called. Bueno, nos estamos acortando dos capítulos, como sea. Vamos a Mercius dos capítulos antes que Dimitri. Si recuerdo correctamente, es a veces referido como el stubborn old general. It is a massive fortress that was constructed to protect the Imperial capital. The Imperial troops we defeated passed through Fort Mercius and retreated to Enbar. Right now, Fort Mercius should only have its usual defensive forces to contend with. Hay que atacar cuanto antes. Yes, it would be good to finish up here before more enemy reinforcements arrive. The only real question is what our fearless leader intends to do. Sorry for the delay, everyone. Those mewling lords kept me from leaving for quite some time. So, were you able to secure additional reinforcements? It's gonna have to wait until next month. It doesn't look like they can afford to keep supporting us at present. Then what should we do about Fort Mercius? Do you plan on waiting around? No, if we wait until next month, the enemy will have bolstered their defenses. That said, the prevailing theory is that you need triple your enemy's forces to take a fortress with a frontal assault. Right. That's what we were taught at the Academy. And this is Fort Mercius we're talking about. It's renowned for its strong defenses. Our current army isn't nearly strong enough. Hmm. What to do? Whatever you do, just don't ask us to scale those huge walls. We'd end up dead when they hurl rocks down at us. Yeah, no thanks. If only someone would open up the gates for us from the inside. Unfortunately, we don't have any spies in there. Wait a minute. I've got it. We sneak in, stir up confusion, and open the gates ourselves to let our allies in. Right, that's what I was saying all along. Wait, what? Right, nice one, Hilda. <laughs> But how do you propose to go about sneaking in? Oh, disguises? If we dress up like Imperial soldiers, maybe they'll think we're allies and let us in. Do you really think they just open the gates for us? I'd be pretty dumbfounded if that worked. No, no, she's on to something. It's a good idea, Hilda. 
We just need to refine it a bit, and we'll be in there before we know it. Really? Go me! What is your definition of refining the idea? I know your go-to strategy is nausea-inducing poison, but... <coughs> oh, I maybe ate too much. My stomach hurts. Raphael, why are you eating meat during a war council? So, fearless leader, I'm guessing you're going to keep the crucial parts of your scheme under wraps until the time comes, aren't you? Well, you know me so well, Judith. Whether we like it or not, this war puts a damper on all of our spirits. What's wrong with trying to have a little fun every now and again? Just leave the details to me. Bueno, pues hay apoyos. Alguna apoyo habrá por aquí. Sí. Cloud con Ignatz. Tenemos todos los apoyos de Cloud. Hey, Ignatz. ¿Getting lost in your imagination again? No. Today I am praying. I'm hoping that if I pray with all my might, she will appear before me. The goddess, you mean? Yes. Perhaps it's strange to think about such things. Nah, you're fine. If I had the chance to meet the goddess, I certainly wouldn't say no. Especially your version of the goddess, huh? A total looker, isn't that right? That's a disrespectful way of putting it. I just believe that she's a divine beauty. She'd have to be, considering how she mesmerized the people of Fodlin when she walked among them. Too true. No doubt an incomparable beauty, that one. Puto sarcasmo de Cloud. Funny to think that even now she must be somewhere, right? Well, I guess she's just floating on a cloud or whatnot. Yes, indeed. Watching over us from above. And they say that someday she will return to walk amongst us again. Oh, if only you knew, Ignatz. Well, don't mind me. You go ahead and get some good praying in. <coughs> if the goddess appears, you let me know, okay? What? No. If she does appear, I want it to just be the goddess and me. It'll be way better if I'm there too. I'm saying this for your benefit, Ignatz. Why? Imagine an incomparable beauty standing before you. Do you really think you'll be able to remain calm? Uh, well, that is to say... But if I'm there, I can smooth things over. Have a nice chat, invite her to tea. Everything a goddess deserves. Oh, well, I suppose that makes sense. <laughs> of course it does. Now get on with it. Pray like you've never prayed before. <laughs> Ignatz, el... es tan ba. Ignatz es tan ba. A ver, Ignatz con Rafael Niebla. Eh. Joder. Hey. Hey, you've been acting weird lately. Are you sick or something? Raphael. No, I'm fine. So what's going on with you? Are you worried about something? Want to talk about it? I don't know about worried. It's just <coughs> you know, your parents Hey now! Ah! What is it? I thought I told you to drop it. Just forget about it. I can't just forget about it. You lost your parents. And when you were in need, my family did nothing to help you. Well, what were they supposed to do about it? It's not like they killed my parents. And besides, that's our folks you're talking about. That's got nothing to do with us, right? I still can't help but feel responsible, like I owe you somehow. Look, if you want to do something, just be my pal like you used to. 
We can eat tasty meals together, play games, make jokes, and laugh until our bellies hurt. Are you sure that's what you want? Of course it is! We were friends before, and there's no reason we can't be friends now. Well, if I know, I... Thank you. And I'm sorry about before. Hello, but I'm going to Rafael Sumove. Muy bien, nos vemos a fin de mes. Parece que a Manuela le gustaría hablar contigo. ¿Quieres aceptar? Professor, a pleasure to see you. ¿Qué haces en la catedral? I was here for confessional. Confessing my foolishness. While I'm at it, May I confess something to you too? Claro que no, dime. I realize what a burden I've been on you, I mean. After every breakup, I neglect my work, and I know how that affects you. I'm completely worthless as a woman. Can you imagine how that feels? Oh, I'm going to be single for the rest of my life. I just know it. You think so too, don't you? Diría que sí. I'd rather you disagree, even if you don't mean it. Lie to a woman when she's down and out, yeah? Ya, yeah, bueno, me apetecía ser un niño malo. What's wrong with me? It's not my looks. I'm still gorgeous. Or am I? Be honest. Do I look old? No, not possible. No, pero pienso que llevas demasiado maquillaje. Y quizás el peinado. No, no es por eso, es tu personalidad. Fea no eres. Creo que le dije lo mismo la otra vez. It's better to be attractive than just fine. Oh no. If the problem isn't my looks, and they are not the problem, then it must be what? My personality? Yep. Uh. I'm trying to find a way to say it gently. But you think there's a problem, don't you? I suppose I can be a bit unkempt. I do have a short temper, and I may be a little lazy, sometimes. But I've always heard fellas, you know, like a woman with a few flaws. Seems to me there are plenty of flawed girls who have landed themselves a good man. So maybe, my trouble is I'm not imperfect enough. Do you think I could use a few more flaws? That's a very nice are you saying I'm perfect as I am? Come now, you'll make me blush. Eso ha sido Hogwarts. Oh, bueno, nos vemos a fin de mes. Pero... Y ya estamos en fin de mes. Al igual que la otra vez, hay un diálogo antes del propio día de fin de mes, con lo que empezamos desde aquí. I delivered our letter to Fort Mercius. I don't think they suspected anything. I knew I was right to entrust that task to you. You've got that honest kind of face that makes it easy to fool people. Is that meant to be a compliment? What did you write in the letter? I informed them that reinforcements were on the way. It would have been suspicious for troops to show up unannounced. So, the plan is... We'll disguise ourselves as reinforcements from the Imperial capital and sneak into Fort Mercius. Oh, 
<coughs> Era un buen plan. Right. When the troops in the fortress panic and open up the gates, we're in. I'd love nothing more than for this plan to work, but I've got some bad news for you. Apparently, the notorious Death Knight has been placed in charge of defending Fort Mercius. Meh! Anet puede matar a un hit. The one who kidnapped Flame. The Death Knight. I did not wish to ever think of him again. He got some acclaim in the battle to subjugate Western Fargus. They say he holds the most military prowess in the Empire. Even so, we've got Teach here to command us. All will be well. You have to trust us. Uh, so your big plan is to just trust your professor? Really, boy? Under the professor's guidance, I'm sure we'll manage somehow. We're counting on the tactics you learned from Captain Gerald. Prepare yourselves, everyone. It's time. Teach, this is for your ears only, but there's actually one more part to my plan. I had hoped it wouldn't come to this, but I have no choice. ¿Que no tienes otra opción? Absolutely. We can't afford to hold anything back. Thanks to Edelgard's strength, the Imperial Army is more unified than I would have expected. It was a painful realization, but... After our battle at Grander Field, it's clear that we can't win if we don't pull out all the stops. I also realized something else during that battle. There really is something special about you, Teach. The reason we were all able to keep our cool in the midst of the chaos was because we all trust in you, in your command and your strength. Everyone here believes that we will win as long as we have you on our side. Our faith in you is borderline religious. You and I, we have what it takes to free Fodlin from the Empire's rule. I know in my heart that we'll make it through to witness the world after all the fighting has ceased. That man approaches. Who are you talking about? You don't mean that professor, do you? It doesn't matter. No one could take this fortress. <sighs> Sounds like a bother. I'll be taking a nap about now. Will death scythe claim you? Or will I fall to that sword of yours? Bueno, pues esa es la historia. Tenemos algunos apoyos más. Lawrence Koenig Nats. Ignat, hello. What are you up to? <laughs> you frightened me. Oh, calm yourself. What is it that you're drawing? I thought I'd jot down some sketches of everyone while they're training. And then later on, I'll try to practice their moves on my own. Mm. But I can't really concentrate on sketching if someone's watching me. Just sketches, hmm? Even so, they're lovely. There's such life in them. It's as if they're moving on the page before my very eyes. Do you really think so? You know, I always hoped to be an artist. With skills like that, I'm quite certain you could easily make a living of it. And your demeanor is different when you draw. Bolder somehow. Ah, yes, there's an idea. Perhaps in the future you will join my retinue as my personal painter. Wait, 
Have we not discussed this arrangement already? I had decided to take you into my service as a knight, had I not? Becoming a knight was my father's idea. Being an artist is out of the question, I'm afraid. So you've said. Well then, I suppose you shall simply have to become a knight who also paints. A knight who also paints? I have seen your talent and can attest to it. Your gifts are too great to wither away in obscurity. A knight with the rare gift of artistic talent would be most welcome in my employ. <laughs> I had never thought of that. Still, I don't understand why you'd want me as one of your knights. As a fighter, I'm unremarkable. There is more to knighthood than combat. Courtly manners, a dignified bearing, and an aesthetic sensibility are also essential. A knight with an eye for art and the talent to create it is sure to improve the image of the nobility. <laughs> Lawrence, I'd never have guessed you were prone to such eccentric ideas. Thank you. I'm feeling a little more confident after hearing your kind words. Oh, no cause for thanks. It is a noble's duty to provide guidance to those in need. <laughs> Sí, ande Lorenz con Hilda. Lorenz, look. What is it, Hilda? Ah, a letter from your brother. <coughs> That's right. Though part of me thinks it's some stranger imitating my brother's handwriting. He's never given me this much praise. Hilda, you've learnt the value of persistence. You're really maturing, stuff like that. Usually his letters are like, I'm worried about you, and stop being so lazy. Since I have fought by your side, I can assure you that his praise is genuine and entirely deserved. I've written about fighting in plenty of letters. Why is he so gushy this time around? I would venture to guess that your depictions of battle are more passionate than before. It's no surprise that such authenticity would resonate with a veteran warrior like your brother. If that's true, I have you to thank. You've inspired me to throw myself into battle. Does everyone think I'm a tough warrior now? I don't want to be stuck with their high expectations. Would that be so terrible? You are gifted, you know. Not to say that your lackadaisical nature has failed to endear itself to me. I'll choose to take that as a compliment. <laughs> Speaking of letters, did you keep your promise? Did you, uh, mention me? I did. I told my brother all about you. I said you were a uniquely gifted leader who could inspire people to be their best selves. And I said that you'll be a real asset to the Alliance. I also told him how I wished you could join our family. He responded that he'd be honored to call you his brother. Wait, un segundo. Te acabas de decir que te quieres casar con Lorenz, así sin más. To have such a valiant brother would be beyond my wildest expectations. Um, Lorenz, you know what I mean about you joining our family, right? I do, and I confess, if I am correct. That the same thought has preoccupied me as well. But you must forgive me. Now is not the time. Before we can consider our own future, we must first end this war. We must secure a peaceful world. And if we do attain a peaceful world, then what? Come on! Just say it. As much as I'd like to grant that request, I cannot. This is something that will deeply affect our lives. It must be said at the proper time and place, with the most artfully chosen words, and the perfect offering. I am Lawrence Hellman Gloucester, after all. <laughs> I'm not usually one for waiting around, but maybe I'll make an exception in his case. Why the fuck Lawrence tiene tan buenos supports? Por qué Lawrence tiene... Lawrence, no tienes derecho a que tus supports sean tan buenos. Sheesh, los supports de Lorenz son muy buenos. Siguiente, Ignaz con Leone. Who 
almost there. Oh, hey, Ignatz. I I'm sorry. I didn't mean to interrupt you. Relax. You're not interrupting. I'm sorry. I didn't know you were training out here. I sometimes come here to practice by myself. It's more like a real battlefield, you know? Shooting the targets in the yard lets you train your aim and all, but the tension just isn't the same. You're right. A real battlefield feels quite different. But if that's the atmosphere you want, I feel even more like I'm intruding. Oh, knock it off. You're already here. May as well stick around while I catch my breath. Ah, okay, sorry. Thank you. Sorry to bother you. You know you've said you're sorry about a dozen times since you got here. Oh, I'm so... Ah. <laughs> it's fine. I guess it's part of your charm. Hey, what's that bundle of papers? Oh, did you come here to paint? I remember now. Someone said you're a great artist. You paint a lot, right? Uh, yes. Yes. When I have the time, that is. I enjoy painting. It helps me relax. Oh, well, that could be your thing. My thing? Huh? What do you mean? Last time we talked about it, you said you didn't have a thing you were really amazing at. But if you like painting so much, it must be a skill you're looking to master. M my paintings are nothing but a hobby. Besides, I'm not that good. I never took art lessons. When... when I was little, I drew a picture for a young girl. The picture made her so happy that I decided to keep at it. That's how it's... So you're practicing your art to make other people happy? Is that it? Oh no, th that's an overstatement. I must insist again, it's just a hobby. Even if I were to become a master artist, it wouldn't be a useful skill. Aren't you from a merchant family employed by the nobles? I think it would be really useful there. I'm not inheriting the business. My brother is. My father said that I'm to become a knight. So my art won't do anyone any good. At all. Ever. Oh, Ignatz. Ay, en fin, vamos a Fuerte Mercios. Ah, sí, Comercios. Dentro de poco me va a tocar reparar las armas, seguramente. Oh, wow. La toma de Fuerte Mercios. El grupo pone rumbo al sur para llegar a Embar, la capital imperial, pero en su camino se interpone Fuerte Mercios, plaza que tiene fama de inexpugnable. Para capturar la fortaleza hará falta un muy buen plan. While awaiting reinforcements, the Alliance predicts the Empire will continue to fortify its defenses at Fort Mercius. Knowing this risk, Claude and a select few advance, hoping to gain entry to the fort through deception. 